I've heard from a lot of people inside and outside the game dev world that making art is a really big struggle. So I thought I'd share some tips and mindsets that have helped me overcome the inadequacy I used to feel about my own art and sometimes still do often. Um, and hopefully these tips will help you too. I'm also gonna give you a flip through of my most recent sketchbook to show you that it's really all over the place in terms of style and quality and attention and that's okay. It's just all about enjoying it and having fun. So the first thing I recommend doing is broadening your perspective on all the diverse art that's out there. Um, you might be saturating your eyes with art that all looks very similar and if you can't make that exact type of art, of course you're going to think that your work is bad. This is so common in the game dev industry because a lot of games follow the same couple different art styles. So I would see this as an opportunity for you as a less experienced artist to bring in a whole new bag of look and feel and uniqueness and intrigue into your game or your art if you're not a game developer or whatever it is you're making. Understand that art never has to look a certain way in order to be considered good and learn to love the strange. I'm going to link some weird and quirky artists that I found in the description, so check them out and see the diversity of the art that's out there and then try and find some of your own. The second tip is to understand that styles take a bit of time to develop, but develop naturally and without effort. The first piece you make you might feel odd about, and if you share it, others will likely feel a little odd about it too. Then you make another that looks quite similar because you just naturally draw in a specific way and then you make another and then you make another and slowly over time you start to understand your own art vibe and slowly over time others will also start to understand and appreciate your art vibe as well. Look at your art over time, look to see the trends that are coming out and appreciate them and, and take that as your vibe for now and it doesn't always have to be your style but for now, that's what it can be, and that's really cool. The third tip is try not to have the internal narrative of I can't make that. And if you do think something like that, respond to it with, but I don't really want to make that anyway. I want to make my own thing. Try to flip your mindset into that little bit more of a positive internal narrative. Because your art is your own little thing. It's your own little world that's just yours and no one else's. You don't have to share it, which is such a freeing feeling these days. You can do anything you want to it. You can destroy it, color all over it, burn it. You can create anything you want. You have absolute freedom to make something absolutely great or absolutely hideous. And you have absolute freedom to believe that anything is absolutely great or absolutely hideous. And that's an amazing feeling, so appreciate that. And get into your own little world. My fourth tip is when in doubt, go abstract. Abstract art is such a useful tool to just get out of your own way and your own thoughts. It doesn't have to look human, it's abstract. You can add doodles and words and practice drawing the same thing over and over again to make a pattern and it's all really excellent. Like it'll all be excellent because it's abstract. Doodling is really good too. Try and fill the whole page with doodles. Do it while watching Netflix or listening to a podcast or an audiobook or something. It's also very meditative and cathartic, so I highly recommend it. So, I have some actionable tips that you can start doing today to start loving your art. So the first would be, like I mentioned before, find new sources of art to follow on social media. If you're on Instagram, there's different tags that I will put in the bottom. Um, luckily, if you find one artist and you follow them, they'll show you lots of different similar artists that you can also check out. Instagram is good with that. Use the search tool and uh, look out for things that are out of the ordinary that you actually kind of like. And that'll just allow you to see the breadth and depth of the art industry these days. My next actionable tip is to purposefully draw something ugly and laugh and enjoy how ridiculous it looks. Find joy in the silliness of your art. Like, oh my god, look at this nose. That's not what a nose looks like at all. And what is this arm? It's longer than the other arm. Bones don't bend that way. Could you imagine if someone actually looked like this? Maybe it could be a villain in my game. Maybe it's a cartoon character. You could even try and replicate your bad drawing again and again and again. See if you can copy it. Why not? It's practice. Anything is practice, even if it's bad. The third thing that you can do 
is Doodle More. Doodling is so good because it allows you to make lots of micro drawings while not actually being attached to any one specific drawing or outcome. It gives you time to play around with not really drawing anything if you get too caught up in something. And also it's just generally a nice way to improve your fine motor skills. The fourth action you can take is to get a sketchbook and fill the pages instead of using loose paper to draw. I find that loose paper always feels much more official and can add a lot more pressure to my work. When sketchbook kind of allows it to be fun, it allows you to mess up, you can go back and look at your old stuff and find you might even like the stuff you used to not like. My last action suggestion, and this one's a little weird, but I like to do it, is use pen or marker or paint or something more permanent than pencil. This forces you to own your mess ups and gives you no choice than to trust yourself with what you're doing. Whenever I screw up using pen, I turn my screw up into something that would, looks purposeful and maybe I'll like replicate the mistake in different places of the drawing. Also, this will prevent you from getting stuck in the endless erase and redraw perfectionism loop that we've all been in before that ends up just ruining your piece of paper and frustrating you because you can't get that line in the perfect shape that you want it to. So try using pen and see how it feels and see what comes out and just accept whatever comes out and appreciate it in its form. So this isn't meant to help you make really good art. This is just meant to help you love the act of drawing and really appreciate yourself where you are and your abilities. We know that everyone gets better with practice, but it's hard to be called to practice if you're constantly berating yourself with negative self-talk while you draw or look at your finished product and think this is crap. So lighten up, have some fun, take the seriousness out of it and make mistakes, get silly, enjoy yourself while you do your art.